This is a rational system architect demonstration for customizing the meta model within system architect for new functionality. My name is Melissa Robinson and I'm a technical specialist for system architect. The overview of this demonstration is to show how we can customize system architect and customize the meta model with new functionality. Uh, for this demonstration, I'll use the meta model editor, which is a user interface editor for editing the meta model and extending the meta model in System Architect. Going through the demonstration, I'll show how to do meta model property configurations to create a new definition type of type technology standard, for example, and a new definition property of type priority. The priority will have a property list value that I'll create for high, medium, and low. The technology standard is a custom user-defined definition that we add to System Architect by extending the meta model. We add the technology standard so that we can later go and create new technology standards, edit existing technology standards, and connect our technology standards by making a relationship from technology standards to our technology components within System Architect. This allows us to uh, report on the technology standards and see the relationships between the technology standards and the technology artifacts in System Architect. System Architect does provide a user interface, again, to customize and extend the meta model, which allows users to configure diagrams, objects, and properties. We will do this by extending the technology standard user definition type. And as with any other notation in System Architect, the meta model supporting it can be extended with customizations as needed. System Architect is very flexible in the configurations that can be made within the meta model, uh, for example, meta model extensions. The extensions to the meta model apply to the entire encyclopedia within System Architect. So any changes you make will be affected in the entire encyclopedia moving forward. MetaModel's extension allowed the organization to add their own custom standards to System Architect so that organizations could have uh, their own custom standards extended in the System Architect repository and organizations could be on the same standard notation. Technology standards will be added to the MetaModel linked to technology components, we can then report on technology components based on high priority technology standards, for example. So we get started now. So going through this demonstration, I'll start up System Architect. Within System Architect, I have my encyclopedia open. And within this encyclopedia, we can configure and extend the meta model. Before proceeding with the meta model editor, we want to make sure within the encyclopedia that we're using in System Architect, we have the right configuration set up. So we go to Tools, Custom Method Support, Encyclopedia Configuration, Advanced, and make sure we have the meta model objects enabled on the right hand side as a property set. This will allow us to use the meta, meta model editor user interface within System Architect rather than using the user properties text file to edit the meta model. So once we do that, I want to create a new definition type called technology standard. So here I'll create a new definition of type user definition type. And this user definition type will create a new user definition within the meta model and I'll give that a name of technology standard. Now, once I've created my new user definition type called technology standard, I can fill in the properties for this new de user definition type. For example, a description And we also have chapters. We can add a chapter, uh, which is a tab in the user property in the, in the property configuration that you see here. So I'll add a new tab or chapter 
to this technology standard user definition type called priority. Once I've added that chapter, I can select define to define my chapter by giving it a description, uh, a layout, and additional properties. Before I do that, um, I will come to this later. So now we've created a new user definition type called technology standard with a chapter for priority. Now I'd like to go ahead and create another definition. So I'll create a new definition type of type user definition property. Creating this new user defined definition property allows me to create the new definition property for my new user definition type of technology standard. So creating my new user definition property, I'll give it a name of priority and associate it with a user definition type. If I select choices, I'll have a drop down list of my pre existing user definition types. I'll drag and drop technology standard and select OK. Now I've created my new user definition property. I can add a description and other uh, fields as well. What I'd like to do now is give it a list type. So we want the priority value to be medium, high, medium, and low. So here we'll select the text chapter. And once we select that, we can select that this is a list type. So we will have a list of values that we can choose from for priority, for this user definition property priority. So once we have that, we can see the text list over to the right, and we can give it a text list name of priority and select OK. So now the last definition type that I need to create is a new definition type for my list values. So here I'll create a new user list, give it a name of priority, and enter in my values of high, medium, and low. Once I've done that, I can now go ahead and generate my user properties file configuration to add this new user definition type and new user definition property. To do that, I create another new definition, and this time I create the definition of type user property. So user props file, I'll create that give it a name, and now select the objects in the sequence to be generated in the file. So the objects that I'd like to select are the priority list, as well as the technology standard. So these two will be defined in my user properties file. If I want to look at the definition for technology standard, I could select define. And here we can see we'll have a chapter of type priority. And the property that we'll have inside of the chapter is type priority, where I drag and drop the new user definition property that I've created and select apply. So now that we've created this new user props file, we can go and generate the actual file. So here I'll go to the definition user props file and this new user props that I created, I could right click and hit generate user prop. And this will generate my user property configuration file. Once System Architect has processed the new user props configuration file, we can look at our changes within our encyclopedia. Before I do that, I do want to open up the user props file, and we can see that the file was generated automatically. The text was added based on the new user definition type and user definition properties we've created. The first line is the list value of priority, high, medium, and low, and then we have a new definition type of technology standard with a chapter for priority where we have a reference to the priority property. 
the list with a list value of high, medium, and low. Back in System Architect, I can now create a new definition of type technology standard, which is now my new definition type, user definition type. So here we have a new tech technology standard. Creating my new technology standard, I could give it a description, a priority, and here we have our drop down list for high, medium, and low. And once I've created this, I can save this. And now within my definitions on the left in the Explorer, I have access to see this new type, which is the technology standard, and we can see what we've created. This concludes the demonstration showing how we create, using the meta model editor, we create a new user definition type with a new user definition property.